Hey everyone, and welcome to Gear Up with Greg's, your one-stop shop for everything you need concerning industrial supply. My name's Manny, and today we're going to be talking about Arctic chiller water and the different ways that bottled water is produced and used. First of all, did you know that everyone who's ever drank water has died? Crazy, huh? But fret not, we're on our freight train of death anyways, so we might as well stay hydrated on our way. Choo-choo! <clears throat> Arctic Chiller produces three main lines of water, spring, distilled, and reverse osmosis. To start off, let's spring over here and look more closely at spring water. In Canada, for water to be deemed spring water, it has to be obtained from an underground source. This water also has to be relatively unchanged from that underground source. A few exceptions to this rule are the addition of carbon dioxide, fluoride, and ozone. If these ingredients are added, it has to be stated on the label, but only if they are in higher concentration than what was originally in the water. As we can see in the label, Arctic Chiller spring water is ozonated. This means they have added ozone to the water because ozone, O3, breaks down into oxygen, O2, which makes the water smell better, taste better, and deters the production of harmful bacteria in the plastic bottles. Compared to distilled water and reverse osmosis water, spring water has low fluoride content and a high mineralized content. This difference is because it is straight from the earth, which has a naturally low fluoride content, but a high dissolved mineral content. Fluoride is something that is very common in our tap water, as it is added to promote proper dental hygiene by helping to control cavities. But I believe it's added by the government for mind control. So, if people want to avoid a highly fluorinated water, they'll often drink bottled spring water. Man, <clears throat> this thing's always creeping up on me. Anyways, although there are many federal regulations surrounding the selling of bottled spring water, too many of them to get into here. One of the more interesting ones states that you cannot depict a setting on your label that is different than the location of your underground water source. This means that if you're obtaining your spring water from an underground source in the prairies, but your label has a picture of the Rocky Mountains on it, it is deemed false advertising and is then subject to fines from the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. The source also has to be clearly displayed on the packaging. We see here that the source for Arctic Chiller's water is Kootenai Plains, Alberta, so not far away from us. And the label is the Kootenai Mountain Range. Hey, look at that. We're both 100% Canadian companies. Spring water is mostly used for drinking purposes. This is because the dissolved minerals picked up in the spring water from the earth, like calcium, magnesium, and iron, are necessary for our daily bodily functions and is one of the few places we can get these badly needed minerals. One of the water products offered from the Arctic Chiller is the reverse osmosis water. Despite its very scientific name, reverse osmosis is not at all complicated. RO is a method of water demineralization that involves using a barrier to remove contaminants from spring or tap water. Water is forced through a barrier with holes so tiny that bigger particles have a hard time getting through, producing what is mostly water. This water purification process is what is commonly used in municipal water purification systems, as it is an effective and quick way to purify large quantities of water. If we look at the bottle of Arctic Chiller RO water here, we see that it is labeled as demineralized water, which is a blanket term to describe water that has contaminants removed, but not distilled. It says it is ozonated, which we know helps the water last longer on the shelves. And we see its mineral content is five milligrams per liter, while its fluoride content is less than five parts per million, or five milligrams per liter. As we can see here, it is right in the middle where purity is concerned compared to the other waters offered by Arctic Chiller, but still very pure compared to spring water. RO water is commonly used for industrial applications in place of pure water because it is not so costly to produce compared to other demineralization methods, such as distillation. Interestingly enough, the World Health Organization advises against drinking RO water, 
as a lack of dissolved minerals in the water actually causes the water to strip these minerals from your body, depleting your body of valuable minerals it needs to function. The last water product offered from Arctic Chiller is distilled water. Distilled water refers to tap or spring water that has undergone the process of evaporation and condensation. Whereas other methods remove contaminants from the water, distillation removes water from the contaminants. To obtain distilled water, one must boil the water, then the resulting steam is condensed into a clean container. This water is the gold standard of pure. It is a praised method of demineralization because the results are always repeatable and reliable. If we look at this Arctic Chiller bottle of distilled water, we first see that it is ozonated, which we know helps the preservation of the water. If we look down at the mineral and fluoride content, we see that it is by far the purest water from Arctic Chiller. With the mineral content of one parts per million or one milligram per liter, and a fluoride content of less than 0.04 parts per million or 0.04 milligrams per liter, it is purer than any other offering from Arctic Chiller. You would use distilled water for various industrial applications where an excess of contaminants would not be acceptable. For instance, to top off lead acid batteries. Also, distilled water is preferred in automotive cooling systems for the lack of minerals left behind after evaporation. So let's recap. Arctic Chiller sells three kinds of water fit for a wide range of applications, spring, reverse osmosis, and distilled. Spring water is sourced from natural reservoirs in the earth and is mainly used for drinking. Reverse osmosis water is demineralized, relatively pure, and not as costly as other purifying methods. Distilled water is demineralized through the process of evaporation and is the gold standard of purity where water is concerned. It is commonly used in industrial applications like topping up lead acid batteries and cooling systems. It is clear that for any industrial application, Arctic Chiller has got your water needs covered. Well, I don't know about you, but I for one am oversaturated with water knowledge. I hope we are able to clear up some questions you may have had about the Arctic Chiller lineup we sell at Greg's today. But if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to call us and one of our friendly order desk staff will be able to help you out. From all of us here at Greg's, bye for now and have a great Canadian day.